Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Sorry, I was connecting everything. How are you guys? I'm bad, Hi. teacher. <laughs> really? Yes. With, um, you were sick, right? My foot, uh, uh, it's bent. Bent it? Yes. Oh my God. Is it swollen? Sorry? Is it swore or swollen? Swollen? Swollen. Yeah, uh, inflamado. Yes, yes. <laughs> but not fractured. No. Okay, thank God. It's good to hear. Okay. Well, it's good to have you. Thank you. What happened to you? When I take a bus, uh, just bend. <laughs> I don't know what what happened, <laughs> but oh, uh, you were going into the bus, mm -hmm. and you bend your feet, your foot. Yes, yeah, your foot, my foot. Oh my god! So I have, um, I got medical leave for seven days. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be resting at home. Yes. Well, thank you for being here despite despite the pain, despite uh, the issue. Okay, a pesar de, despite the problem. Okay, so let me just get some comfy. How are you guys? Uh, hey, come on, turn on your cameras. Come on. Let's start the class. Let me do the attendance. So we can move on. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Okay. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present teacher. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present teacher. Fatima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Not here, that's odd. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Present. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present, teacher. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Okay, he's there. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Okay. So, where were we? Where were we? Hello. Remember the first five minutes are yours. So you can talk about anything. Say hello to a classmate and start speaking. Someone different than yesterday. Yes. 
yesterday I heard Jocelyn saying hi to Alexander, I think. Oh, I can remember. Okay, go ahead. To Ada. <laughs> oh, yeah, with Ada, right? Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Hello. Hello, Jocelyn. Good evening. No, that Hello. was that was Hello. yesterday. That was yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. Oh, and Johnny oh. said something about Fernando's idea, right? So come on. I can stay quiet for five minutes. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, I can't. Yes. <laughs> That's cruel. Uh huh. Um, yesterday, the, the strategies the, for the test, the product, uh, testing the product, uh, the handling test, and the, it's approved the method, the monadic, mona, monadic test is a uh, control the Calidad, no? What do you say? Calidad. Quality, quality control? The, uh, the quality control and the test is uh, evaluate the cost and quality. Mm -hmm. mm. Costs versus quality. Good, Anna. Uh, yes. Mm. Okay, what about the other? So, no volunteers. Let me choose victims then. Okay. It means no teacher. Yeah, nobody <laughs> wants to speak. And you, you're here to speak, so <laughs> that doesn't make sense, right? That doesn't make sense. Estás en un curso de yes. inglés y no quieres hablar inglés, so um, come on. Mm. A este punto ya tenés que poder mantener una conversación por cinco minutos sobre cualquier tema que puedas manejar, o sea. Ya haber perdido el, el miedo, so. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Juan, say hello to Jose Antonio. Hello. I'm here. Hello, Jose Antonio. What are you doing? Hi, Juan. I'm very nice. Excellent. Why? My home. Are you with your family? Yes, I I am the the child. With the children, okay. The children, they, they are play. 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 What are you playing? What are they playing? They, they are um, dra drawing, dra drawing. 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 Okay. You see, that's the point. Great job. As easy as that, just say hello, talk about anything. That's my point. Okay. Every day we're going to be doing that. So prepare, prepare yourself. Icebreakers. That's very important. So in today's lesson, let's see the first thing we have to do. Oh, okay. So product testing. Does anybody have um, a story to tell how it went, how it went about testing a product? Have you ever tasted new food or tested a new product? What happened when you did that? Can somebody tell a story?
Let's talk about coffee. Um, um some some years ago, like uh, five mm -hmm. years ago, I was working for a for a factory, so they um create uh I don't know the name I don't know if capacitores I don't know if it's the same in, in English mm -hmm. capacitor capacitors I'm not uh -huh. sure yeah capacitors okay and um in that line of business we work with a machine that that tests the the product to to verify if if this product can I don't know if support um and a specific amount mm, of electricity no. um, electricity an amount yeah. of electricity uh-huh yeah so sometimes i was in charge of of to test to test that that product because it was very important for the for the client since if one of that capacitor fails um could be a could be um I don't know a problem for our machine or or can cause um difficult for for the person who who use it for for marca passes I don't know uh how you can say that but but yes we we used to use the the testing was a like like um Oh my God, I forget the word. What do you say, Orno? Oven. Sorry? Oven. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, oven. Yeah. So that was my experience with the, with testing products. Hmm. Excellent. You say pacemaker. Okay, I was in charge of testing. Let me tag After, your comments. Uh -huh, I was in charge of testing the products. Mm -hmm. It this or it can cause difficulties. Difficulties. Mm -hmm. This can cause difficulties mm -hmm. or some other issues. And you say pacemaker. Marca pasos, pacemaker. Okay, that that is the the the. Um, Okay, on English, pace maker. That doesn't make sense to me. Wait a minute. Pacemaker. I'm not sure. Yeah, pace maker, pace <laughs> maker. Pace, pace maker. Okay. Pace maker. Wow. That was a rigorous job. Anybody else? Have you ever tested a new product? For example, uh, in my family, we were addicts. We had this addiction to um, Café Majada de Oro. We just became addicts to Café Majada de Oro. But then it became more expensive. So we couldn't afford it. We couldn't afford Café Majada de Oro. So we changed coffee. And now we, we buy the coffee locally there is a guy who sells coffee and it's even better than Mahada de Oro and it's less expensive it's like 250 per pound 250 per pound I can't remember the name but it's better so we tested we liked it so we changed okay same thing happened with the shampoo I have tried almost every line of head and shoulder but there's a carbon a carbon head and shoulder that give me itches got that gave me itches you know my head and the same the same happened with the chocolate the chocolate head and shoulders i was like what it's really itchy i tried the old spice head and shoulder that was better. Okay. So I stood I stood with old spice and shoulder. What about you? 
What have you tried? Men, have you tried men? Have you tried some shaving cream? Some shaving cream? Shaving cream. Mm -hmm. Or have you tried any shaving foam, guys? Do you use shaving foam? Okay. Okay, nobody wants to speak tonight. What's going on? It's Friday and nobody knows it. Yeah. Come on, guys. Okay, I'm going to split you. You have to speak. And the question is, what product or product have you tried? Simple question. First question, what products have you tried? Were you convinced? Were you convinced? ¿Qué productos has probado? Y te convenciste? Okay, were you convinced? Okay, so let's use these two questions just to have a conversation. Okay, let's go. You have two questions to have a conversation. Let's go. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Tell me what product are. Estoy en dos grupos Sorry. porque no me sirve el, el audio. Ustedes me escuchan por el celular. Yeah. Sí. Es que me conecté la compu, pero no estaba hablando y como que no funciona. Me voy a salir del otro grupo. Pero es el que no sirve. <laughs> okay. Aquí sí vea. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 What okay. The question is what products? Uh -huh. You tried. What you tried? I remember that one day I tried a Starbucks. Maybe there is not a new product, but I try a coffee that I never had before. Vanilla cream. Vanilla cream. And it has vanilla and cream the ligament in milk. It was terrible. I was not combined. I spent almost five dollars in that beverage and was not really nice. And what about you, Albi? Had you tried any product? Uh in my case, um, I, I, I try uh, a product he, uh, air health. Okay. Uh, is um, uh, I, I challenge it from the horse. Uh, ego, I don't know, is, I don't know, you know. I don't know, you know, is uh, hell, is hell, yeah? Put in the, in the, in the hand. Uh, ego, uh, uh, because always uh, using my hair. And I like, I like it because when I try for, for the first time, I never change because uh, my, my, my hair always, uh, always, um, it, it is uh, uh, strong. No, no, it is, yeah, strong. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, firm. Yeah, strong. Firm. Firm, yeah. Firme, uh, firm. Uh, firm. Firme, firm. Oh, okay, firm. Uh, and 
Yeah. Um, I don't know. In my case, I never tried, but I don't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What about you? Do you use tres m, Carolina? Yes. How did, a... how did you start using tres m? Mm. Once once years ago, but I don't know. I'm not convinced about it. <laughs> Is it expensive? I remember the price, but I I bought the shampoo and conditioner. Um was how do you say caspa? Oh it causes uh I saw that recently in the previous class actually I told you oh. <laughs> I had to I had to find it. Dandruff. 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 Mm -hmm. but it, it causes dandruff. Dandruff. But the tresemme, um, doesn't. it doesn't el it doesn't eliminate. It doesn't eliminate no, no, no. dandruff. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Maybe so... is it's not it's just a stress. <laughs> um but no. And now I, I I don't have it. You don't have dandruff anymore. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, stress has to do. Stress has to do a lot. The problem with women is that um, since you you dye your hair, you dye your hair. Um, dye. Yeah, you dye your hair. So it, the problem is that you cannot use just any shampoo right you need an special shampoo yes uh without now i i using without salt without salt correct correct that's the point Thank you, guy. okay what about food um uh, actually uh with fatima and williams we we were talking about sushi i never tried but i don't know fatima told me and she, that she like she likes delicious <laughs> yeah sushi is delicious <laughs> okay you should try it <laughs> no, I don't know. It, I don't. It, it doesn't catch catch my attention. Perfect. It doesn't catch my attention. You got it. Okay, guys, let's give it up. Okay, so we're back. Now you can talk. Can you tell me what they said? What they said on each group? What product did you talk about? Well, in our, in our case, um, I remember that uh, I told them that I used to work for Pizza Hut around nine years ago, and they always try to create a new flavor, right? Every single month, actually. And yeah, when, when they create a new flavor, you are the first uh, people, big or team. person, big team, exactly, that you can tr you can taste or prove or try taste uh, taste the the product. Actually, it's good because you can eat um, a lot of food, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And it's 
interesting because you can provide your opinion and your opinion is heard. Yeah. Is it by the heart? Yeah, you can I can say it by the heart. Mm, it's heard. It's heard. Okay. Yeah, in my case, I this is my my experience. Story. Okay. Something similar happened to me, you know, but I didn't know. But I didn't know. Uh, back in 2003 or four, I can't remember. But we went to visit a friend of my wife and in Santa Elena. And they were excited. The whole family was united. And they invited us and other friends. They were tasting a new pizza. There were about 10 different pizzas on a table. One of the pizzas was chicharrón, okay, pork, okay, fried pork. Uh, it was made of fried pork, but it was too greasy, too much grease, you know. Another one was just cheese with loroco, okay. Another one was chorizo, okay, sausage, chorizo, sausage, cheese, cheese with loroco, beans, and that's it, I think. Okay, and so on. And there was another one with a lot of meat, you know, bacon, sausages, chorizo, and it was good. I mean, but we tried multiple kinds of pizzas. Next year, after that, they launched a new product called Telepizza. I was like, what? Now I wow. tasted, I tasted it first. Yeah, the, the father of this friend used to work at, Coyo Camp at Pollo Campero, who was like the boss or I don't know what, of the development department. And I was like, wow, have you tried Telepizza? They are the pioneers. pioneers? The, pi the pioneers, good. Pioneers, okay. Good, they are the pioneers of what? Of the pizza. Of the, yeah, that was a whole new brand. It was a whole new brand and a whole new product. And it was good because the Tipica doesn't have grease. I mean, it's not greasy. It's not a greasy product. So it was well accepted, you know. That's an example. Have you tried telepizza? Yes, it's nice. Okay. Is it better than Pizza Hut? No. Is it better, better is it better than Domino's? Okay. Kind of. Neither. Neither. What about better <laughs> Neither than Papa John's? Papa no, John's. no, definitely. Papa John's for me is <laughs> like better, the best, the best pizza. Little Caesars? Yes. It's okay. nice. It's Really, really nice. Okay. And it's cheaper. That is the best. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, if you don't find what to eat right there, let's buy three or two pizzas. It's like 10 bucks. Yeah. That's inexpensive, especially if you have kids. Okay. Yeah, I got your point. I got your point. Okay. So it's our turn to go through some new grammar. Okay. How to achieve verb agreement with complex subjects. Okay. Complex subjects, sujetos complejos, like me. Let's look at the examples in the box and complete the exercise below. But first, subject complex are preceded by expressions of quantity. And this is the key. Okay. Voy a pasar el español un segundo, señores. Sorry. Sujetos complejos. Son llamados así porque están acompañados o precedidos por expresiones de cantidad. Y ahí los vas a identificar. ¿Ok? Por eso se llaman complex subjects. Y es algo raro ahorita que lo hablas, pero ahorita que vamos a los ejemplos vas a entender un poco más. Ojo con esto. Ellos van a tomar ya sea la forma singular o plural del verbo dependiendo de el número. Es decir, si la expresión de cantidad, una expresión de cantidad, estamos hablando de números, ¿no? De una manera figurada, ok. 
si esa expresión de cantidad es singular o plural, ¿ok? De eso dependerá qué verbo le precede. Es decir, no nos compliquemos. Este ejercicio creo que ya lo hice con ustedes. Si yo les digo una palabra, ustedes tienen que pasar la palabra a sujeto, right? We did it. So if I say Ada. Uh, she. She, yeah. right? Okay, she. If I say Fernando. He. 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 If I say the rain. It. 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 Okay. If I say three lamps. Okay. Day. Day. Okay. And so on. The air. Yeah. Y esas son figures. Son figuras que tú tienes que hacer ese ejercicio mental súper rápido a este punto. Tra trasladar mentalmente el nombre que estás viendo. Trasladarlo a singular o plural. Y darle un sujeto. Asignarle un sujeto. Eso es un proceso mecánico súper rápido. No hay que pensarlo mucho. Ok. Entonces, let's look at the first example. En su lado izquierdo del cuadro van a ver singulares. The first. ¿Cuántos hay en the first? Just one. Just one, right? The first of the decisions. Sin embargo, en el enunciado, este es el sujeto completo. The first of the decisions. ¿Cuál es el quantifier ahí entonces? One. To, um, no. ¿Cuál es el quantifier? Decisions. Ah. Stop uh, guessing. Has been. Think, think, think. ¿Cuál es el quantifier ahí? First. The first. Ese es el quantifier. Entonces, ¿le está dando cantidad a qué? Decisions. A las decisions, ok. Eso es todo el truco en este punto gramatical. No es un tiempo gramatical, esta es una forma de expresarse y la vamos a ver gramaticalmente, ok. So, the first of the decisions. Pero teacher, ahí dice decisions. Usted dijo que cuando un nombre estuviera pluralizado, eso lo voy a reemplazar con the day. Sería plural, ¿no? No. La primera de las decisiones. ¿Me estoy refiriendo a todas las decisiones o a la primera? La, la primera. primera. That's the point. Entonces lo voy a tratar como singular y voy a agregar el verbo en su forma singular. Has. Has been made. En este ejemplo, ¿qué tiempo gramatical estoy ocupando? Present perfect. Present perfect. The first of the decisions have been made. Has been made to go ahead with the plan. Okay? Y ese es el punto, corregir este error común que tú podrías decir, the first of the decisions have, uh -uh, it has been made. Okay, next example here. The first, oh well, ahí está la explicación. The first refers to one of the decisions. So the verb must be in singular form, has. Okay. Uh, perdón, Adita, perdón, pero se escucha el <laughs> the background. Ok, one of, again, quantifier, one of the good things. Otra vez, teacher, eso está en plural. Yes uh -huh. and no. Me estoy refiriendo a una de las buenas cosas. Ok, one of the good things I like about working with you all. Sigo con el verbo en su forma singular. ¿Ok? Porque estoy refiriéndome a una de esas cosas. ¿Qué pasa si yo quito el quantifier? Entonces sí, respeto tu pensamiento. Digo, the good things I like about working with you all are the effort you make to do the job right, uh, the great environment. Y empiezo a listar las cosas que me gustan, las buenas cosas. ¿Ok? And again, here, one is a single of various good things. So the verb must also go singular. ¿Estamos claros con eso? Yeah. Okay. ¿Quién se acuerda del otro quantifier que se refiere a uno nada más? Oh. Uh, the unique. Unique. Hey. The unique. Hey. unique. 
give me an example. Pero tiene que haber un distintivo, además de unique. Ah, cabal, muy bien, Elvin. ¿Cómo se llama? <risa> es que hablan igual, güey, otra vez. Ajá. Ok. The unique. No, no podría decir the unique of the things. No. Think, Stand think, think. Again, Alexander. Stand alone. No. Stand alone. Mm -mm. Quantifiers. The first one of. And the. Well, and A. Only A. Okay. Continue. A. Uh, Okay. A car of the lot. Better off. A car. A car of the lot. A car of the lot. Okay. Un carro de los lotes. A car of the lots. Ha sido vendido por mil dólares. A ver. Un carro de los lotes ha sido vendido por mil dólares. Car of the lot has been sold for one thousand dollars. Try to try to say a thousand dollars. Sounds better. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. Okay. A car of the lots has been sold. A house. Okay. One of the children. One of the children. No, one of the children has been uh, graduated. Uh -huh. Has been graduated. Movámonos del presente simple, del presente perfecto. A ver. Uno de los niños está castigado en la dirección. One of the children was está. punished. Is punished. Yes. Okay. Is punished at at, at the principal the office. Ajá, principal. good. Just, at the principal's office. Y es que hablamos así en español. Uno de los quesos, uno de los niños. Pensemos en español un poco. ¿Qué otros cuantificadores utilizas? Aquí es, en los ejemplos tenés el primero. Uno de. Un. Un o um, una de las. Son. Some is Ajá, singular. ya vamos a llegar. Eso es plural. Vaya, vámonos plural. al siguiente ejemplo entonces. Para que tal vez nos surjan las ideas y si ven, puedan dar ejemplos. Pongan atención, a ver. Decía Alexander, exacto. Some. Some, ¿qué quiere decir some? Algunos. Algunos en este contexto, ajá. Ya ocupo el verbo en plural. Algunos que está diciendo Some difficult decisions to make In relation to fancy material Algunas Decisiones difíciles Ojo, difficult es un adjetivo Y la decisión es un noun Está calificando Algunas decisiones difíciles a, a llevar a cabo O a hacer En relación al material How do you translate fancy? De fantasía como de fantasía, algo uh, uh, uh. sencillo. No, no. Are you, you, uh, Jocelyn, baby, be fancy. Ah, fancy. Como I am not... delicado. Ajá, cabal. Ajá. El material delicado son. Algunas de las decisiones son. Ok. Keep an eye on that. And again, here some refers to more than one difficult decision. It's plural. So the verb must be plural. R. Okay. A majority. And a number take a plural verb when they are used with a plural noun. Okay. De nuevo. A majority toma, eh, perdón, a majority and a number. Estas dos toman el plural del verbo cuando son utilizadas con Nombres plurales. Ojo con eso. A majority of product developers prefer to use blind tests. ¿Por qué? Porque lo mismo ocurre en el español. Una mayoría de los desarrolladores de productos prefiere 
usar el test ciego, the blind test. Okay, questions. No, let's try to apply this with the examples that you have here. Okay, you have to choose between have, has, is, are, okay? What is, if it is singular or plural? Pero antes que nada, yo quiero saber si esto está claro. Quedémonos solo con esos ejemplos entonces de quantifiers. The first, one of, some, the majority, and a number. Okay, a number of people No. Okay. Okay, it's good to have is good to have a uh, a big number a big number of students in a class than having none that I got lost. Okay, help me make examples. Eso de a number como que no les pego en el libro. Ah, ah como no, a number of onions. Estoy tratando de usar a number, a number of onions, como dice que después va un plural. A number of onions. Mm -hmm. Are. Are ruined. Okay. Okay. A big number of onions. Aquí, siguiendo la regla, entonces sería is ruined. A big number or a number of onions is ruined. Que es esa regla que puso ya? Majority and a number. Take a plural verb when they are used with a plural noun. Ah, pues sí. A big number of onions are ruined. Okay. Are ruined. Lo mismo pasaría al decir most part. Most part of runners train a lot. No diría trains a lot. A uh, big, ¿qué dije? I can say um, a, a considerable number of the player has uh, lost every match. Uh, uh, a considerable number of players, players have lost the match. Have lost, have lost. Okay, so let's do this exercise so you can find sense. Um, okay, necesito que todos entiendan este tema, pero nadie me está haciendo preguntas. No sé si tienen dudas. Are we clear? To be honest, for me, uh, I I couldn't understand some samples, but I think that if you give me a like a, if you make me to to create a a phrase. Maybe I can learn. Okay. But actually, I, I a little bit lost. Yeah, thank you, Isela. Can you help me with the first one, Isela? Let me try. Okay, so what's the quantifier here? Um, uh -huh. hmm. Very good. Ahora. What is the noun? Participants. It, okay, participants. Is it singular or plural? Plural. Okay. So, should I use have or has? Um, some participants have not arrived. No, some participants in the testing group has not arrived yet. 
Ok, uh, de nuevo. Son, dice algunos. Es plural, es plural, es plural ¿no? Okay. Y participants está en plural, ah, pues. It's how. Oh. Oh. oh my Not god. Right uh -huh. Ese es el oh. punto. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Ese es el punto. Ok, next, Ada. One. One sería quantifier. Quantify the factors. Perdón, me voy a sobrellar ambos. Ok, one off. Ese sería el quantifier. One off, the factors. The factors, ok. Este de factors es el noun. Ok. To decide on the best type of test. R. Mm. Mm -hmm. Factors plural, ¿no? Ya, yeah, pero uno de esos one factores. Is... Uno, uno de los factores, solo uno, no todos. Okay. Ajá, ese Decide... es el punto. Uh, is, is. is, correct. Is. Say is. Right. Uno de los factores es las características okay. del producto en sí mismo. Ok. Ok, solo es uno de los factores. So, a ver, les voy a poner este reto. Necesito que me hagan cinco oraciones en grupo, ¿eh? Teamwork. Vamos a intentar ocupar esto. Y quiero que lo hagas basándote en, en tu lenguaje. Ok. Algunos. Muchos. Ninguno. Uno. Varios. Ajá. ¿Qué más? Esos few. son quantifiers. Few. Ajá. No, pero en español, chicos. Yo quiero que se ubiquen. Ajá. Algunos. ¿Cuántos? Muchos. Uno, la mayoría. La mayoría. Ok. Bastante, no. La y es que en singular solo existe eso, ¿no? Uno de los. Dos de okay. tres. Primero de los. <risa> Ninguno de los. El primero de los. Ajá. Dos de cuatro. No, 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 no. Ahí ya sería plural. Ahí ya sería plural. Y sí, sí, la verdad es que sí, se puede. Two, two, of, the, two of the participants. Mira, two of the participants in the testing group. Ok. Have. Va, ese es el punto. Yo creo que se ubiquen en su idioma. Hagámoslo así. Busquen quantifiers en español. ¿Qué es lo que estamos viendo? The principal. Ok. The principal subject. No, the principal subject. Mm -hmm. Sería is or are. Principal subject. Is. Y si te digo, the principle of the subjects are the most important of the subjects is. 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 Ahí estás. Ahí vamos. Ok. So, ese es el punto. Quantifiers. ¿Le vas a poner un objeto plural? Mm, pensalo. Ok. Let's think about it. Use the chart. Ok. And you have a challenge. You have to build five sentences using quantifiers and we will discuss them in group. Um, okay? Okay. Okay. Right. Let's do it. Hello, Alexander. Hello, Elvin. Hello, Hello. Carolina. Hello, Alan. Hello, everybody. Hello, Diana. Hello. Okay. Quantifiers. Yeah, I'm Some, one, some, hello, every, any. Sorry? Yeah. Huh. 
Tell me, tell me. Se lo voy a comer todo. Solo un poquito come. Important, important. One of the most important is one of the most important thing for learning English. Another example. Is practice or is practicing? Is practice. Is to practice, practice or is uh -huh. practicing every single day? Is to practice or is practicing every single day? Someone else? One, okay. Well, tell me your idea. Some difficult. Oh. Yeah, it's the same. Okay, sounds stiff and synonym. Yeah. Uh, sounds stiff. Uh, sounds stiff. All subjects. Could you repeat, please? Of subjects. Of. Of this. No, O F. I'm not sure that is correct. Of subjects are. Uh, yeah. Some. Are math and mm -hmm. physical. Uh, our math, 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 M A D H. Ah, math, yeah, yeah. Math. and physical. I'm not sure. What do you think? I think you're trying oh. to say some stuff. Uh, subjects, stuff, U S T U F F, stuff. Oh. 
¿Verdad? Sí, Stuff, no, Steve. Uh, es, mm, he wants try to say some difficult, but Steve is the same, no. Oh, mm, Steve es rígido. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Rigorous. Some, some rigorous. It's, mm, it's stronger than difficult. Well, um, hmm. Some stuff. Without all. Some super. Some, some difficult stuff. Some difficult stuff of subjects um. are stuff. With you. U. 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 D. Here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Stuff. Take the A off. Remove the A. Yeah. Stuff. Okay. Yeah, Some difficult stuff know. of subjects are math and physical and, and physics. Uh. Pero no tiene sentido. Algunas cosas difíciles uh -huh. de las materias son matemática y física. Physics. Um, so, in this case, we can change it. Think, think about it. Mm -hmm. Some Podría ser este... One, one of the flowers in my garden uh -huh. is the most pretty. Is one of the flowers, flowers my, in my garden. In the garden. In the garden. Uh -huh. In the garden is it, it, it's the most pretty. It's the most pretty. One of the flowers in the garden. Mm -hmm. Yes, one of the flowers in the garden is the most pretty, okay? Mm. Sorry. Some of the tasks are very easy. Some of the task. Task. Some are of the task. Some of the task. Some of the task. Task are. are are very easy. Are very easy. Some, some of the tasks of the tasks are very easy. What mm -hmm. mm -hmm. do you Cinco. Five. Fisher, we are ready. Good. Practice. <laughs> okay. Read it again. Carla. Ah. Teacher, we are still confused. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. I was trying to create some, some samples, but I'm not sure if if are correct 
For example, I was saying to to William, if I can say um, some, no, 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 many customers have complained about the higher, fee higher. Yeah, correct. About the fee increases. Many customers have, porque tenés plural, one of the customers has. Okay, okay, ya voy entendiendo. <laughs> mm -hmm. It is a little bit difficult because, because when you are talking for two, no, when you are talking uh, using another person, you think that, that you are using a, like a third, third, I don't know what is como el, el tercero, like her and she, and you try to use has, but but then if you realize that you have that you have two or three or more, and then have. Great. Sorry. Ese es el punto, Isela. Si tú identificas que es singular, pues vas a ocupar el verbo en su forma singular. Eh, lo mismo ocurriría si vas a agregar la S o la S al verbo. Si no fuese has o is, que es como están los ejemplos. Um, ok. Teacher, can I say the first uh, of the students to leave class wins the contest? Uh -huh. The first of the students to leave class mm -hmm. to leave class the, wins the to finish to finish the exam wins the okay. context cabal he or she wins the context very good teacher and um, some of the participants in their competition are obtained a medal okay um oh. have oh. obtained a medal some of the participants on the contest have have obtained have, have obtained a medal. See, si has a one of the participants has obtained ah. a medal. Aunque el vaya el participante va. Esa es la, la idea. Ah, ah, esa es la idea, cabal. <laughs> one of the participants. Si ya me puedo ahogar en el lago de Yopango. <laughs> I think that creating an example um, yeah. is better to understand, yeah, because we were trying to create some samples, but well, we don't, we didn't, we didn't be sure. We were not, we were not able to, we, we were not sure, we were not sure. We okay, were not. okay. Try and try to continue understanding what you have done. Traten de continuar entendiendo lo que han hecho hasta ahorita, ¿ok? Porque lo van a explicar. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Okay. Never be soccer players are examples for another younger. Está bien eso. Oh, podrías poner otra. Oh. We are the first of many. Uno de. La, la, la frase uno de es. One of the good things in the life is. Okay, is one of. Always in, the, in, this, in this context of soccer. One of the last. One of player of PSG. PSG, o PSG. Yo creo que la vamos a aburrir de tantos jugadores bien. Oh, yes. Stop talking about players. Okay. Habla. Okay, what, 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 what another topic? <laughs> no. Um. No, y lo que me preguntaste del, del editor, si vos pones Word en inglés, él te va a corregir, así como te corre en español. Sí, lo vi. 
Ok. ¿Qué más? What else? Tenemos seis ahorita. Como acabo de entrar, este, están viendo la página 18. Yes. Hay que mencionar un número o mencionar. ¿Se ¿Sí me pueden explicar? No, no, este, ahí no, ahí no, en el libro está, cuál en la página que mencionó. Eh, prácticamente es como tenemos que de un grupo de algo cuantificarlo por ejemplo ahí están los ejemplos eh, the first of the decision has been made to go ahead with the plan pero la cosa es que después de que nosotros te cambiemos o, o pongamos el cuantificador tenemos que saber si es plural o singular por ejemplo si yo digo uno de muchos yo estoy yo, mi sujeto es uno entonces, cuando ya ocupamos el verbo be, por ejemplo, es is, no es are, aunque estemos hablando de varias cosas, porque estamos hablando de una de todas esas cosas. Okay. Your verb be depend of quantity. What is the name? Expression. Son, dif quantity. son difficult decisions en español. Algunas de las de decisiones difíciles, es, algunas es plural. Entonces, si fuera el verbo be, el que, el que sigue sería are. For example, uh, another example, some Nissan Versa, very common in this country, some Nissan Versa cars are bad to buy, bad to buy. De verdad, sí, viejo, yo no sé por qué compran eso. Perdón, yeah. si alguien tiene uno de esos. Yeah, vamos. <laughs> So these and Versa cars are bad to buy. Yeah. What Thank you, teacher, are you for, looking at? for being patient. It's my job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not aware about it. Okay. He's going to say, yes, I, I have to. I must to. Yeah. <laughs> let's, see, let's see your examples. No, I'm not lost. I'm just figuring out other, uh, yeah. other sentences that you can translate. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Actually, you are you was trying to understand every single thought that you were saying. Yeah, kind of. Okay, go ahead. Give me your examples. Teacher, uh, which the son, the patient had determining your diagnostic, or one the exams. One more time, please. Okay. Which the exams, the patients, how determining your diagnostic? Or use one, one the exam. Okay, let me put it on the chat right here. Okay. Which of the exams of the patient of the patient has determined the you? diagnostic? It's, it's a question, it's una pregunta. Okay. Which of the exams of the patient has determined the oh. diagnostic? Muy bien, Ana. very good. ¿Cuál okay. de los exámenes del paciente ha determinado el diagnóstico? Mm -hmm. Aquí es donde viene un pensamiento más. Allá. 
porque así como está formulada esa pregunta, puede darse a, a entender como cuáles de los exámenes del paciente nos han have. reflejado. Ojo con eso. Ojo con eso. Uh -huh. Excelente ejemplo. Which of the exams? Podría ser cuáles de los exámenes del paciente, pero como estoy diciendo, ha ah, determinado el diagnóstico. Okay. Ahí lo singularicé al usar el verbo en singular. Ha ah, okay. determinado. Estoy hablando de uno. Si yo dijese, which of the exams of the patient have determined the diagnostic, entonces, ¿cuáles de los exámenes del paciente han determinado? A o han. Ojo. A has. An have. Oh. Ok. Quiero ser más específico en la manera de hablar. Tendría que decir, which one of the exams Mm -hmm. yes. Which one of the exams? Okay. Which one? Which one? ¿Ya han escuchado que a veces, a veces se, eso, no? The which one? Yeah. Eh, ahí yeah. está singularizando más todavía. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? Uh -huh. Which one do you prefer? Which does he prefer? Eso, eso se saldría del contexto de lo que estamos viendo. Ajá, porque no estás, no estás pluralizando un objeto después de which one. Uh -huh. Y ya vieron obligatoriamente va a ese of the. Ok, another example. What do you think about this? The first of the steps to reach a successful life is the nobility. The first of the steps to reach success. A success. To reach success. Okay. Si decís A, tiene que ser a successful algo. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first of the steps to reach success is. Life. Oh, success in life is. Don't be lazy. Is to avoid being lazy. Okay. okay, to avoid being lazy. Hmm. The first of the steps to reach success in life is to avoid being lazy. Very good. De nuevo, sigo singularizando. The first of the steps to reach success in life is to avoid being lazy. Uh huh. <gasps> Oh my God, keep thinking, please. Keep thinking. It's 9.14, guys. Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Here. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcide Seguizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Oh, Present. good, good. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Ok, uh, Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Ahí está. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Enrina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Por ahí. Present. Nadie. Yes, very yes. good. Ok. Bueno, vamos directo a los ejemplos. ¿Algo otro ejemplo que tenga alguien? Es 
the first rule to enter the company is that you wear a mask. Is correct? The first group to enter the company? Rule. The first rule? Rule. 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 Oh, the first rule to enter rule. the company is? Uh -huh. That you wear a mask. Is to, to wear a mask. Is to, to wear, wear a mask. mask. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Is. Is. But okay. In this case, based on the. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. The first of the rules. Yeah. Sigo con eso de off the. Okay. Yeah. Veamos. Uh, dejen, estoy terminando un ejemplo. Another example. A majority of managers are not happy with the results. Mm -hmm. A majority of the managers are not happy with the results. Sí, ahí todo es plural. A majority of the managers. One of the managers is not happy with the results. Correct. Some of the participants um, have not yet won a medal. Correct. Mm. Some of the participants have not yet won a medal. Very good. Okay, let's see if you can do it. Teacher, uh -huh. uh, the fears of the steps to make a to make a hockey is to select the floor. For the flower, I mean, the flower. Flower. Uh huh. Yeah, is to select the flower. Very good. Okay, esto por favor singular, es decir. <ríe> solo tú hazlo en tu cuaderno ahorita nadie vaya a dar la respuesta por favor ok no se vale usar el traductor please solo que no entendas una palabra entonces la buscas en el traductor no te hagas trampa a ti mismo ok uy salió grande la cosa bueno si se le um, a ver can you see one of the products. Hey, are hey, hey, please, come on. <laughs> Translate on your notebook. Es un reto para cada uno, no es, eh, ya. Yeah. Eh, quiero ver que todos hayan entendido. So, luego les pregunto a cada uno, corríjanme si hay alguna falta de ortografía aquí en español. Yeah. Ok, en su cuaderno, señores. O oh, para hacer esto más dinámico, si gustan, lo pueden escribir en el chat de Zoom. Su respuesta directamente a mí, a mí, please. No se lo envíen a todos en el chat. It's like keep your mouth closed. Yes, please. Dejen que sus compañeros eh, participen también. Yo sé que muchos de ustedes ya esto pan comido. Piece of cake. Eh, bueno, eh, pongamos silencio en los micros. Bueno, yo lo haré. Hay muchos que eh, tienen mucho ruido a su alrededor. Eh. Cabal, very good, Fernando. Good job. Mm -hmm. Good, Alexander. Um, casi, Fernando, casi. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. The second one. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, try it. 
What's the grammar tense? What is the tense? Good, Alan. Mm -hmm. Yes, the second one. Just once. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try it. Teacher, Try this, it. This, this second sentence. Uh, I, uh, yes, the second. Fallo, no lleva, no lleva acento. Fallo. No tengo acento en mi keyboard. I'm sorry. Está en inglés. Eh, ah, ok. Bueno, ya lo entendí. Uh, está no. pasado. Eh, sí, es pasado. Good. Ok. No. Eh, yes, it's missing, it's missing something. Ah. Yes. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Ahorita lo corrijo. Eh, how do I do this? In Spanish. Hey, what happened? Ah. Yeah, I know. You can use a. Ah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, La primera todos le están haciendo rápido. Cabal, Fernando, y sí, very good. Uh -huh, Alexander, very good. What about the others? Sandra, Carla, Janet. William. It, there's another way. Um, Fernando. Okay. There's, an, there's another way to say that. De decir ninguno. Okay. Mm hmm. 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 I'm not really sure, but... I'm going to train the third one. Yes. Ah, yeah. Por eso puse la cuarta muy similar, Alexander. So think, think about it. Mm, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Ah. <laughs> ¿Querés mejorar en esto? Haz este ejercicio más continuamente. Yo sé que es difícil su trabajo y todo, pero dedicarle un poquito más de tiempo fuera de la clase, hacer ejercicios, les va a traer muchos beneficios. Ajá, uh -huh, very good, Carolina. Casi, Sandra. Casi, casi. Solo Sandra ha encontrado de otra forma de decir ninguno. No. No one. Um, thank you. Write it. Y todos se están equivocando en lo mismo entre la 3 y la 4. Sabri. <laughs> Good, Fernando. 
a different place every no, time. No, say it. Yeah. Text it. Ustedes no pueden ver el chat, pero yo sí puedo ver lo que están escribiendo y eso va a ser lo interesante de este ejercicio. Cuando ya pongan lo que es, van a poder regresar al mensaje que me han enviado y decir, oh, oh, a lo mero se van a poner ahorita. Oh, oh. Good, Alexander. Yeah. Mm. Beat, Alexander. Hit mm. or hit? Hit. Hit. Okay. Mm. But think twice. Okay. Good, Ada. Good job, Ada. Oh, uh, por cierto, mándenme a mí directamente el mensaje. No, ahí ya da dio la respuesta de la dos. A todos. <ríe> Good, Sandra, you got it. Excellent. Now try the next one. It's very similar. Sandra ya tiene la tres, señores. Le hizo perfecta. Fernando, bueno, the car, no, no, no. Mm, esa posición de la de la adverbio de frecuencia, Fernando. Ok. Sí, sí, sí. And the translation of delinquency. Mm. I don't that 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 word. I don't I don't know how to. Yeah, how to that's okay. Translate. That's okay. <gasps> Oh my God, combate con N, teacher, por Dios. Entonces, hey. Yeah, laugh all you want in Spanish. <laughs> Yo sé, miren, a veces, a veces pongo unos tweets que, oh my God, me dicen después, what the, what did you do? Ah, yo creo que sería mejor. Uh, From the... Um, de, ahí te comienza ah, pero me falta el always. Cambiarlo. Uh -huh. Fight. Ajá, uh -huh. correct. Fight the crime. The fight against. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more minute. Okay. Está, está difícil esto, y esa era la idea. Good, Carolina, you got it. Hurry up, do number four. It's very similar. There's heat in different place. Good, Carla, Janet, just missing one part. Faltó una partecita, Carla. Cada vez. Cada vez que te busco te vas, cada vez que te llamo no estás. Uh -huh. Ready? Okay, let's do this. Time 30. Yeah, there we go. Let me see if I got it right. Uno de los productos está roto. Okay, so. Esto se llama voz pasiva, señores. Is broken. Ok. Solo uno de los carros está fallando en la prueba. Aquí tenía dos opciones, ¿eh? Just or only. Pero one. Just one or only one of the cars is failing the test. Good. Ok. No me gusta cómo se mira esto, fíjense. Ahí no sería it, porque estamos hablando de un objeto. Sí, es, es. It. Ah, ¿por qué it? Si sí, ya está el objeto aquí. Ah, ok. 
Ajá, ajá. Sí, es buena pregunta, de hecho. No se preocupen. Si hay duda, pregunten. Ninguno de los estudiantes está de acuerdo. Aquí todos me estaban poniendo no one. Uh -uh. None. No nos the student is agree. Mm, according. Mm -mm. Error muy, muy, muy común. Muy común. ¿Cómo es, Carolina? ¿Cómo es, Sandra? Students agree. Agree. Sa -sa Sandra. Oh, none of the students agree. Uh -huh. Está de acuerdo, Jorge, estén presentes eso. So none of the students agree. 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 None of the students agree. Mm -hmm. Ninguno de los estudiantes. Ahora, ninguno es singular o plural. Singular. Ok. So none of the students agrees. Ok. Otra vez, ninguno de los padres de familia estuvo de acuerdo. None of the parents agree. Agreed. Agreed. None of the parents agreed. Y todo eso dije ahí, dije, sí. None of, none of the parents agreed. Ninguno de los padres estuvo de acuerdo, porque estoy hablando en pasado. No, no, puedo, no puedo decir was agreed. Ok. El verbo to be no va con agree. Agree yeah. por sí solo es, significa estar de acuerdo. Por ende, si lo pasó al pasado, sería estuvo de acuerdo. Cada uno de los truenos golpea un lugar diferente cada vez. Esperen, me voy a mandar esto al chat. In this case. Parents of the family. Perdón, parents have? Parents of the family. No, parents are parents. Okay. Mm -hmm. <coughs> cada uno de los truenos golpea un lugar diferente cada vez. Ok. Uh -huh. Which one? Ok. Which one? Each of. Can I say each one of the thunders? Uh, that sounds weird. Each one of the thunders. Each of the, the thunders. Each of the thunders. Uh huh. Heat or heats? Heat. Heat. Thunders. Thunders. Each of the thunders heats. Uh huh. A place. Mm. ¿Cómo es el lugar? A different place. Es diferente, va primero la, el adjetivo, ¿verdad? Ok. It's a different place. ¿Y cómo digo cada vez? Every time. Mm. No. Toda vez, cada vez. Each time. Each time. Each of the thunders hits a different place each time. Sounds redundant, suena redundante, pero that's the way it is. Una de las estrategias del gobierno siempre ha sido el combate a la delincuencia. Que solo Fernando lo logró descifrar esa. Fer? One of the strategies of the government is always strong government. Of the government. Ojo, ojo con este spelling. Ojo. Of. Jocelyn? From government of the government. Mm -mm. One of the strategies of the government. Ahora the bien, government. siempre ha sido. Y dice la regla que al agregar a vivir de frecuencia los vas a agregar antes del verbo. Mm. Siempre ha sido. Has always, always. always. been. been. Mm -hmm. been. Fight the crime. To fight, to the, fight crime. the crime. To fight the crime. Yeah. To fight the crime. Good. Okie dokie. I think that's good enough. Let me try to do something here without. Uh, maybe I can, maybe I cannot. Nobody of the students is okay. Ah, no, 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 don't send me that. Wait a minute, where are you? Where are you? Here. 
Just trying to send you this really quick. There you go. Okay, because si no dejaba de compartir primero, no iba a poder, okay. Good, is it confusing? Is it confusive? So, el verbo que le sigue tiene que ser singular o plural en base a el quantifier and noun, si el noun está en plural o singular, etc. So, do more examples if you want to achieve perfection in that topic. It's difficult, it's not easy, I understand. Creo que quien diseñó el programa trataba como de volver complejo cada módulo en términos de gramática. Cuando ya de por sí los temas a tratar eran complejos. Ok, let's see. Um... Come again. He wants to participate. Oh. Someone said something. Okay. So, um, did we do the ex the exercise on page eighteen? Did you perform the exercise? No, right? No. Let's, let's do it. Okay. Give me one second. That's the next step on the lesson plan. So let's work together on that. It's page 18. You have to define between have, has, or is, are. Sorry guys, just give me a moment. Okay. Ojo que este ejercicio es individual y luego lo vamos a comparar con nuestros compañeros, ¿eh? Okay. okay. Is, uh, is the guy of the left? Hola, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Ahí les envié un mensaje por WhatsApp. Okay, okay. 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 So, vamos a hacer un individual primero y después comparamos con los compañeros, okay? Okay. okay. Fatima, can you stay please 10 minutes? Se puede quedar después de la clase 10 minutes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Keep. Okay. Feels. 
Ya casi terminamos. <laughs> the first of this. I want to payment. Is this how is the first of the suggestion I want to is a majority of the stars. Um, I finish. Um, Comments suggest, suggest a number of comments. Comments suggest. That the points of the, the camera is the best practice. A number of comments. Suggest suggest Okay, I finish. Finish. Okay, number number four. The fears of the suggestions I want to, I want to implement is the sign of the the plan. The design of the label. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Five, number five. Ada, read. Is a ma majority of tester have has pointing out the, the need to make our product layer. 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 Have. <laughs> How? How? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. A number of comments suggests and suggests that the fragrances for the candle is the best char characteristic. I think it's suggests. Suggest. Flora. Suggest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. okay, number one, number one. Yes. Is it for me? Suggest Some of the singular. Jose, singular, suggest. Suggest, suggest. Sure. A number sure. of the comments suggest that the fragrance of the condom is the best so characteristic. Characteristic. A number of comments suggest. Suggests. Mm -hmm. Number yes. of comments. Yes. Suggest. Suggest. Remember yes. what remember what it says? Uh, the the um exception. This is the exception because um a majority or a number of va acompañado de un sujeto plural. Uh -huh. o si va acompañado de un sujeto singular entonces en este caso que sería number of comments plural plural mm -hmm. suggest o suggest. suggests suggests <laughs> that the fragrance yeah. of the candle is the best characteristic 
y sigue hablando en singular, después ve el verbo to be en singular. Ok. Yes. Okay. Number one. Number one. Some of the participants in the testing group has not arrived yet. Has. <laughs> Is that correct? <laughs> we still have or no? Yes, some of the yes. participants in the testing group have not uh -huh. arrived yet. Have not arrived yet. Have. Have. Or has. Some of the participants. Hay varios ahí. Algunos, ¿no? Some of the participants. Some of the... Of the participants in the testing group have not arrived yet. Some other participants in the house. It's hard. Yes. Some of the participants in the testing group have, have not arrived yet. Okay, number two, one of the factors to decide of on the best type of test is, is yeah. uh, characteristic of the product itself. Yes. And number three, a number of customers are satisfied with the performance the new mob mm -hmm. are a number of for the fears of the suggestion I want to implement is the design the sign of the level the fear of the suggestions I want to implement is level 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 the first of the chance I want I wanna implement is the design of the level. Number of comments. Is a number. Label. Label. Okay. Label. Okay, let's continue. So, number one, some of the participants in the testing group have or has not arrived yet. Have. Have. Yes. Yes, totally, I agree with you. Why? Some of the participants, all of that is plural. This guy right here is for only for plurals. Okay. One of the factors to decide on the best type of test. Is the characteristic of the pro itself. Beautiful, excellent. The characteristics of the product itself. Just one of the factors, not all of them. Okay. A number of customers are uh, 
Okay. Uh, Are satisfied with the performance of the new mop. Do we all agree? No. No, you disagree? Yeah. Why do you disagree? <laughs> because I think it's, it is, it, but I know, I don't know. Well, let's look at uh, the chart again. It said that the exception is for a number of and a majority of if they have plural objects. If they have plural nouns after them, then you treat them like plurals are. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. let's let's see. The first of the suggestions I want to implement. It's is good. Is, I great job. Yes, everybody. Yeah. Is the first of uh -huh. design is the design of the label. Of label. 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 Okay. A majority of testers have 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 point have pointed out have pointed out have pointed out have pointed out the need to make our product lighter 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 lighter. A number of comments suggest. Yeah. Suggest. You sure? Yes. Yeah. I do agree with you, you know, but there's something because this is the same rule as the one above, but there's something okay. triggering my mind that the fragrance of the candle is the best characteristic. Okay, alguien que me ilumine, ¿por qué ocupamos is y no are? A number. Because you use yes, that. Mm -hmm. so the fragrance of the of the ah you used a connector. Yeah. Correct. See, sí. so I empecé otra oración. Very good. Good job, Alexander. Yep. That's it. Very good. I believe you do still have questions, but don't worry. Uh, practice makes perfect. And you'll make it. Okay. Uh, bien, señores. A ver, me tomaron un minuto ahorita. Eh, creo que todos terminaron la unidad uno de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we did. Bien, esta semana ha sido pesada. Hemos sido bastante gramática bien rara. Sí, no, no hemos pasado, y eso es lo complejo del curso, que eh, yo siempre lo dije desde el 2014, El, la complejidad de la gramática en el curso, pero se enfocaron en profesionales, en personas que están trabajando y todo, y ustedes lo son, y está bien. Solo que um, cuando tú aprendes un idioma, lo empezás como aprendiste a hablar desde la casa. Y de hecho se recomienda que uh, si tú estás en un básico, tienes que leer cosas de, de libros para niños de 5 a nueve años y así va subiendo no para intermedio de nueve a dieciocho años y para avanzados y a lectura más pesada no de dieciocho a treinta no sé ok um, entonces sí porque los los si se fijaron las estructuras gramaticales que hemos visto no son estructuras o sea son son uh, es gramática pura digámoslo no son los doce tiempos gramaticales que ha visto Se te dan modales. Ya vieron modales, ¿verdad? ¿Ya? Yeah, ¿You remember? No, Más no conditional. Yeah. No conditionals. No hemos visto conditionals, ¿o sí? My case. My case. Yes. No, no, no. En el curso, en el curso. Ajá. Uh, -huh. uh, the course. No, not at all. Sí, ya vieron el primer condicional, el cero condicional. Si esto pasa, esto pasa. Sí o sí. Presente, oh, sí. Yeah. Presente simple. Ok. Um, mm -hmm. Eso. Número dos, no se me, no se me achicopalen, por favor, como decimos en buen mexicano. Háganle, hombre, si esto, o sea, es gratis. Tener la oportunidad de hablar de diferentes temas, conocer otras personas. Eh, y estoy tratando de entender, porque vivo estudiándoles a ustedes, aunque no lo crean, 
viendo por qué dicen lo que dicen y hacen lo que hacen, y ya les voy a ver ese video y siempre digo que lo voy a hacer y nunca lo hago. Um, pero tratando de entender este, este comportamiento, estamos en la clase principal acá y nadie quiere hablar. Y lo divido en grupo y ya, sueltan la lengua, ¿no? Qué bueno, pero hey, igual se está grabando allá y aquí, eso. What's the difference? Right? Así de que el lunes esto es, espero con la lengua suelta y saludando a medio mundo, ¿verdad? como Juan por su casa, dicen, ¿cómo es? Okay, Juan, well, it's your turn. Oh, yeah. Where's Juan? There he is. Hey, ¿cómo está la playa esta noche, Juan? Cuéntenos. Está calmada. Está tranquilo. ¿Está de llena o de vacía? De vaciante. Vaciante. Marea alta. En que se va. Ok. ¿Cómo está el salitre? Andrés Ovidio está empañado. <risa> el salitre, dije. Okay. Pero ya sabemos que él. Ajá. Ok, chicos. Bien. Eh, entonces vamos a pasar el listado. Eh, cualquier sugerencia, ahí estoy a la orden. Créanme que mi única misión es, es que ustedes aprendan. Yo no estoy aquí solo por estar, sino que hacer la lucha de, de ayudarles en todo lo que pueda. Ok. So, let's see. Ada Susana, piso, no me pidan porque no tengo. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Yes. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Oh. Estuvo Johnny ahora. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. See you Monday. Monday. Juan Marcos Happy Guzmán. Good night. Carla Yaneta Maya Herrera. Present. Good night. Good night. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. René Alfonso. Present. Thank you. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Thank you, René. Good night. Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Ok, ok, ok. Right on time. Niña Fátima, good evening. Don Fernando no quiere ir, dice que todavía le faltan 10 segundos. Falta un minuto. Nah. Adiós, <laughs> adiós, buenas noches. Bye. Good night. Good night. ¿Cómo está Fátima? ¿Cómo le va? Bien, teacher. Bien, Aunque siento que me cuesta. No, no es que le cueste. Lo que pasa es que ha estado faltando. Sí, he tenido problemas. No, mi tía ha estado enferma, entonces. Estaba viendo donde ella. Mm. Ok. Bueno, pero qué bueno que se, se esté conectando. Eh... Y no puede hacer una tarea, la tarea donde hay que escribir. Ajá. Sí, de hecho se le iba a preguntar si había podido avanzar. Uh oh. Reducirlos al en el adverbio. Perdón, eh, Fátima. Eh, 
Le envié el listado de verbos la última vez, ¿verdad? Yes. Ajá. ¿Y qué hemos estado haciendo? Es lo que quería preguntarle. O sea, ¿ha logrado hacer los ejercicios así como me dice? ¿Escribía? No. Así okay. como, como dice. No. Uh -huh. que hay que escribirlo. Así como lo que hicimos ahora. Mm, sí, sí, sí. No. Eh, en como en los tiempos. Ajá. En su momento les compartía eso de cómo hacer la dieta, ¿no? Todos los días. Aquí está. Um, agarrar un verbo, una palabra y hacer positivo en negativo pregunta. Un verbo, una palabra, positivo en negativo pregunta. Eso. Eh, y de nuevo, ¿no? El discurso. Hay que agendar el tiempo. Um, ¿De qué horas a qué horas trabaja, Fátima? De 8 a 5. Y después, imagino que pasa ocupado en la casa. Sí. Ok, bueno. <risa> el tráfico. <risa> Se tarda en llegar a la casa, imagino. Yo eso es lo único que no extraño, estar en la calle. <risa> Definitivamente. Ahora fue horrible. Yo sé, yo sé, si salí al mediodía, a la una y fue... 40 uh -huh. minutos para llegar a donde iba y en El Salvador del Mundo. Uh -huh. No sabía el tráfico que había. Entonces, bueno, pero eh, uno tiene que agendar su tiempo cuando quiere alcanzar una meta. Tiene que buscar el tiempo para, para hacer algo por ella. Y, y le pongo mi ejemplo. Yo soy decidido a rebajar y, y a, hacer, a, a lograr la versión de mí mismo que no he logrado. <risa> La única que no he logrado. Ya estuve súper flaco, ya estuve súper gordo, ya estuve pelón, ya estuve peludo. Pero esa, esa versión de, 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 de estar bien uh, física, saludablemente, no, no, no le he logrado alcanzar. Y dije que lo iba a hacer hasta antes de que cumpliera 40 años y ya pues me quedan cuatro meses prácticamente. Entonces urge esto. Entonces, ¿qué hice? Pues, mire, ¿qué horario me queda mejor? Y ahorita, antes de las seis, tengo dos horas, nada más. En esas dos horas tengo que ver qué hago. Entonces, a veces media hora hago de ejercicio nada más, pero ya salgo, o sea, y ese es el punto. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Si de verdad sé que algo me va a favorecer, yo lo estoy haciendo por mi salud, no es porque, ay, que me quiero ver bien, vea, no. Es salud. Así de verdad, uno de hombre cada 10 años va decayendo, dicen, y no sé si con las mujeres y lo mismo, ¿no? Entonces, lo mismo pasa con el inglés. Lo mismo pasa con el inglés. Entonces, ¿a qué horas yo, Fátima, me puedo sentar y sin que nadie me esté molestando, dedicarme a esto, de poner atención, quererme a mí mismo, le diría yo. Así le diría yo. Porque así lo hacía cuando estaba pequeño. Quererme a mí mismo. Me dedicaba un tiempo siempre a mí. Un tiempo que viví solo. Y, y la manera de quererme a mí mismo, porque estaba en dieta y todo, y lo que les está contando, he rebajado 30 libras y funciona. Eh, la manera de quererme a mí mismo era los viernes. Cuando iba de regreso a la casa, caminando, había una tienda en la que vendían unos quequitos con chocolate encima. Y me encanta el chocolate. Ah, pues uno de esos a la semana. Ese era mi premio. Uy, pero sentía que... ¡Wow! Be. Entonces, y empecé a tomar ese hábito. Esto, revisar la tarea de los alumnos, ver que fueran avanzando, presionarlos, o sea, todo eso. Cosas que ahorita ese programa no me las exige, pero sin embargo, con los que se acercan y los que me demuestran que de verdad quieren aprender, lo hago. Y ahí estoy, y ahí estoy todos los días. Dale, dale, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Vea. Entonces, dedicamos una hora por lo menos y empezamos. Ver un verbo, una palabra relacionada al verbo. ¿Qué tiempo me cuesta? Ok, digamos que el presente es simple. Ah, pues, las terceras personas no entendí. Ah, ok, en el positivo voy a modificar el verbo. En el negativo no, ni en la pregunta. Lo que sí cambia es el auxiliar con he, she, it. Ah, vaya. Ocupo colores. Resalto lo que más me interesa que mi cerebro absorba. Porque ese es el punto de este, de este jueguito, de este ejercicio 
que parece ser algo bien sencillo, pero el punto es inconscientemente dejarle la huella al cerebro de una nueva palabra, un, un nuevo verbo. ¿Ya? Entonces, sí, sí. Ya, ahí, ya hice una. Ok, voy a hacer otra. Cambio el sujeto, cambio el verbo. ¿Ya? Ya no tengo por qué modificar el verbo, es una primera persona. Y ahí voy. Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Va, ya lo hice. Me tardé cinco minutos. <ríe> Esa fue mi tarea. No, puedo meter esto en el traductor de Google y escuchar cómo no se pronuncia. ¿Ok? And so on. Algo tan sencillo como buscar una lectura en internet. Y eso creo que se lo envía también el... El... Um, Ah, todavía está acá. Ajá, pero le cambiaron Ajá, la presentación a la página. ¡Wow! Se actualizaron. ¡Qué bien! Puedo elegir cualquiera de los audios. Y empezar a escucharlo y a repetir. Voy a proyectar esto. Vamos a ver. Yo puedo fácilmente elegir cualquiera de los audios de la página que le envié. ¿Sí? ¿Se acuerda? Sí. Pero Ajá. me lo puede mandar por, por <ríe> Sí, WhatsApp. claro que sí. Sí, ahorita. Entonces, ojo, ¿eh? A ver, hagamos una prueba. Yo no estoy aquí. Hey, you're in my English class. Hey, you are my English class. Hey, you're in my English class. Hey, you're in my English class. Y ahí voy hasta que se me quede. Hey, you're in my English class. You're in my English class. Dice, like, you're, you're, uh -huh. yes, I am. Uh -huh. Yes, I am. Uh -huh. Did you buy the textbook yet? Did you buy the textbook yet? Uh -huh. Difícil, ¿no? Textbook, 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 textbook. textbook. Textbook, textbook, textbook. La repetición es la clave del inglés. Repito, si hay una palabra es nueva y siento que no se me queda. La voy a repetir cuantas veces sea necesario hasta que me salga igual. Vaya, ya terminé. Me quedó súper chivo. Ahora le voy a dar play a todo el audio. Me grabé a mí misma, ok. Diciendo todo esto después de repetirlo toda la semana. Solo este texto. Ya me aprendí una, ok. Ahora me grabé, le voy a dar play a las dos cosas y escucho. Yes, I am. Did you buy the textbook yet? No, it's really expensive. How much is it? The original price is over $200. Ok, dije dólares. Yo, oh, era dólares, dólares. Suena diferente. Vuelvo a repasar esa palabra. El punto es, Fátima, criticarse a uno mismo. Ya. Y eso le va a ayudar muchísimo. So, le voy a enviar el link de nuevo para que practique con estos readings y los audios, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Súper bien. Y porfa, ya no falta clase. Y si necesita ayuda en algo, escríbame. Eso es para ayudarle hoy. Ok, teacher. Good night. Good night. Thank you. You're welcome.